The Day of the Beast is a Spanish comedy horror um, released in 1995, directed by Alex de la Iglesia. Yep, it uh, centres around a priest um, by the name of Father Angel, who is a, well, like I said, he's a priest and he's also a theology professor. And for the past few years, he's been trying to decipher a sacred text. And at the start of the film, he's managed to do that. And he believes he's discovered the date uh, that the Antichrist will uh, appear or be born, um, which just so happens to be the 25th of December, Christmas Day. So a lovely Christmas gift for the whole world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he, he believes that he can he can stop this um, by... Uh, by doing evil deeds so he can communicate with Satan. and He has uh, to compete with Satan. Yeah, he has to m- play him at his own game. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, he goes, goes around committing sort of unkind acts. Slightly. And yeah. uh, Stealing money from tramps. Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, telling people who are about to die that he hopes they rot in hell <laughs> yeah. and things like that. Yeah, so on, on his travels he comes across a record shop that mainly uh, sells, like, heavy metal music. Um, of the extreme kind. Yes, so the guy working in the record shop takes a bit of a liking to him, but um, thanks to you know the. the well, he gives, music him, he gives him a list, which is like it's got Iron Maiden, Napalm yeah. Death, and there's another band on there, uh, and he's like, "Oh, heavy stuff." Yeah, yeah. And he so quite, he's like, quite likes the, the priest, them. priest who likes Napalm Death and Iron Maiden. Mm. He's got to be a cool guy. So, so yeah. So basically, he uh, he tags along for the for the adventure to try. <laughs> Stop Satan, um, and also they they he sees on the TV uh, a sort of TV psychic who, who's also written a book who has lo- that has lots of uh, you know descriptions on how to in- do invoke the devil, yeah, demonic, uh, selling your soul, stuff like yeah, stuff like that. Stuff. So he he tries to uh, get him on, in on the uh, on the action as well with sometimes amusing and sometimes disturbing results. <laughs> yeah, so the film is. Well, it is a Christmas film. Obviously, it's you know it's, it's Christmas coming up. We wanted to do a Christmas movie, absolutely, but we didn't want to do um, Scrooge because no. there are loads of them, and uh, if you haven't seen them, there's tons to choose from. So obviously, we like to do odd, obscure films. So we chose this one because yeah. this is a kind of a Christmas movie. There's lots of well, it's set at Christmas. There's lots of Christmas decorations everywhere, and it involves the Antichrist. Yeah. What more do you want? <laughs> Uh, it's it's completely bonkers though this film. I mean it is Spanish. Nothing against the Spaniards, but a lot of their films tend to be quite manic mm. and over the top. Uh, this one in particular, um, I love it. I, I first saw it when it was released. I saw it advertised on uh, Euro Trash. Do you remember that show? Yes. <laughs> uh, and I think because also being into that kind of music at the time, there wasn't really a lot of movies around for that kind of thing or, or, or they you know they, they kind of send it up a bit so you yeah, know, films yeah. like in America like Airheads and stuff like that whereas this was you know featured kind of heavier stuff which I was into at the time I thought Ooh, the devil and heavy metal music in a film that sounds right up my street so I went out <laughs> picked it up on VHS and loved it ever since I mean it is completely nuts and it's it, it's got there's you know there's great music in there and great actors um and really, lots of silly moments, uh, lots of drug taking and weird visions. And I'm not going to talk too much about it because if you haven't seen it, I, you know, I recommend checking it out. Um, it was directed by Alex de la Iglesia, as I mentioned before. He's a really interesting Spanish filmmaker. Um, he's done films such as, well, he did, I think this was his, no, Action Mutante was his first one mm-hmm. that came before this one, which is kind of a nutty sci fi film. And then he did films like 800 Bullets, which is a send-up of the whole Spaghetti Western. And La Comunidad, which is a kind of Hitchcock-esque, a bit like Shadow Grove, actually. A kind of woman finds some money and has to try and keep it to herself. Uh, He's done a couple of English language ones. He did one called The Oxford Murders with um, Elijah Wood a few years ago. And he's still doing things. Uh, He does a lot. I think there's some kind of link between him and Del Toro as well. Hmm. Um, Actors in this one have have appeared in Del Toro films. The the guy playing Angel, Alex Angulo, he turned turned up in Pan's Labyrinth. And he was also in a couple of other Iglesia films. Santiago Segura, who plays Jose Maria, the heavy metal guy, uh, he was in Blade 2 and Hellboy and Pacific Ring. Mm-hmm. And they're all Del Toro films, aren't they? Yeah. So there's clearly a, a bit of a crossover. But it is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely nuts. But it's hilarious. I hadn't actually seen it. I'd seen it a lot when I was younger. And then I watched it, obviously, the other day for this. 
and it's still great. Mm. I still really enjoy it. Um, it's one of those films that it's not really anything. I mean, obviously, people might find things I don't like about it, but there's nothing really in there that's. It's just fun. Yeah, if you just like, um, you know, sort of uh, comedy horrors. Comedy it's horror. Kind of a little bit in the Evil Dead vein, maybe slightly, bit, yeah, if you like that certainly. sort of thing. I mean, I wouldn't say it's quite as com- comedic as like Shaun of the Dead or something like that, but. It's somewhere in no, between, it's not. Maybe. No, it's not that. I mean, it's it's, it's black. Yeah. It's very black I mean, humor. Yeah. You know, kind of the blackest of the black, <laughs> uh, dark humor. Mm. Um, and there's some quite, there's some quite a couple of moments which is slightly disturbing, um, <laughs> murders and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I mean, if if you know if you if you know Spanish cinema, then then you'll probably know what you're gonna get. You know what you're gonna expect. Mm. Um, and if you haven't seen it, then go and check it out. Yeah. Because you can, but it's a bit hard to see. Um, I have it. I have a DVD of it that I bought. I can't remember. This is a Spanish DVD. Yeah. Um, but there are, there's a couple. There's a German Blu-ray. Yeah, it's released in Germany and um, and also in Spain. in Spain on Blu-ray. I think the from the looks of it, the German one doesn't have any English subtitles. So if you do want to get it on Blu-ray, then the, the Spanish one's probably the one to plump for. Right. So... Um, so yeah, and the DVD, shamefully, is non-anamorphic. So uh, uh, yes, if you try and stretch it to fit your screen, if you speak Spanish, it's fine. But if you're going to watch it with subtitles, then obviously you stretch it, it's going to miss off half the subtitles. So bit of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. But um, if you're not fussed about that, or if you still have a square telly, then um, yeah, <laughs> it won't be so much of a big deal. Exactly. Yeah, because I have, I don't have a feeling you're going to be able to find it anywhere streaming. Maybe in no, Spain, maybe. on Amazon, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? So that was Day of the Beast. And if you like uh, if you like it, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed our video, give us a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah, check us out on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Mm-hmm. And thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks. We'll see, see you soon. Yeah.